Members of parliament are now expected to drop back to their constituencies to hold consultative meetings on the Constitution Amendment Bill No. 2 of the 2017 popularly known as the Majesty Private Members Bill. On Wednesday, Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga adjourned Parliament Sunday, meaning without a definite date of return for the MPs to allow them consult. The private member's bill has a number of clauses, mainly on the handling of presidential elections petition, but the most debated clause is the proposal to remove the 35-year lower age limit and the 75-year upper age limit for one to seek election as president. But one of the challenges is that the parliamentary commission that governs parliament doesn't have money to facilitate the legislators for the consultation. Sources told NTV that each MP is expected to get 20 million shillings, although they wanted 30 million shillings. The source that spoke to NTV on condition of anonymity since they are not authorized to speak for parliament say the commission is consulting the finance ministry to find the money. In the alternative, the sources say parliament will have to look into its budget, cut on some aspects, especially travel inland and abroad. Earlier on, one of the commissioners of parliament, Peter Guang, who is also the Usu campaign, suggested that the consultation cash may be withdrawn from the supplementary budget. It was unforeseen activity. And you know very well that if I ask you on a matter of supplementary, this is one of the activities which has been unforeseen. Now that it is seen, where do you expect us to get the money from? It will come as a supplementary. Uh, it, 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 within the Public Financial Management Act, it falls within. And as far as I'm also concerned, it remains within the 3% of the government, which government is allowed to spend, then they come for parliamentary approval. Ogwang said he looks forward to engaging his constituents on the Constitutional Amendments Bill because they have been waiting to give their views. So as a commission, what we have requested, because it is a demand of the people, first of all, of Uganda, that all members of parliament must go and consult. Religious leaders said, people, don't, you MPs, don't take that matter as your personal matter. Even when the constitution says, it is a clause which we can amend as members of parliament. But for us, as a commission, that's why we must thank the president, we must thank the right honorable speaker of parliament. It's not yet clear how long the consultations will last and when the MPs return to the House, but sources say the recess could last two weeks. In 2013, there was controversy when opposition MPs claimed that colleagues had been bribed with 5 million shillings to consult on the domestic relations bill that had been withdrawn. Prior to the 21 elections, each MP of the 8th Parliament was given 20 million shillings to monitor the activities of the National Agricultural Advisory Services, NUDS. Some MPs, especially from the opposition, rejected the money and returned it to the Parliamentary Commission. 2005, NRM MPs were given 5 million shillings to consult their constituencies on the proposed constitution amendments, but political observers interpreted this as a bribe for the MPs to remove the five presidential term limits from the constitution, and it was done. More research all in TV at Parliament.